Yo, what is up? You too much Heed back to watch my Stargate SG-1. I'm here to watch season one, episode 13. It's titled Hathor. Hathor, Hathor, Hathor. Name kind of sounds familiar a little bit. I don't know from where though, but yeah. Uh, let's get her going, guys. Thank you all for watching with me. I appreciate you. It's been a fun journey so far, 13 episodes in. I'm doing these twice a week now. Uh, Patreon's obviously ahead, so please check that out, guys. You know, the support really, really does help. It keeps me on the seat, keeps me moving. I also got YouTube memberships going as well, guys, and you can do the same thing where I'll get you all these episodes out early with uncuts and all that craziness. So uh, let's get this thing going, man. It's been a fun journey. I hope you guys are, I hope all of you guys are actually having a fun time watching with me on this show. You know what I mean? I've sped up the the drops on these so we can kind of get along and you guys don't get too bored just watching this week to week i feel like twice a week is like the motive to go with the show especially since we have so many episodes by the way you know there's a lot of episodes in this bad boy you feel me but yeah i appreciate you let's get it going god they're egyptian what is an egyptian tomb doing egyptian in a mayan temple archaeologist what was his name uh dr jackson Dan daniel jackson dr D a connection various ancient civilizations he was right in this you know medium maybe dr jackson was on to something maybe he was one of these pictographs goddess hathor oh Egyptian that's goddess. why it sounded familiar that would freak me the fuck out oh wow hi how are you <laughs> Freaked me out, but wow, she looks great. I recognize it too. It's like that thing that was on Raj's ship that brought her. She knew the Stargate was here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's about the fun episode. Yes. And you are? We are Hathor. You would be wise to unbind us and kneel before your goddess. It shall not go unrewarded. Remember, you married, bro. Ra is a myth. It doesn't actually exist. Miss. Daniel is not okay right now. Uh, don't tell her anything she doesn't already know. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea if Daniel will be in there. Ball. She might. Oh, that's mean. To bless you with fertility and joy. Martha, you can't pass that up, sir. No, bro. Yes, don't do can. that. Okay, okay, now you're, okay, ow, okay, stop that, okay, ow, why are you doing that for, mama, come on. Under her fucking genjutsu already, bro, not good, not good at all. It's actually very terrible what's happening. Ra is dead. Yeah. How? He was killed. Damn, Daniel, you're done. Here we go. Oh my gosh. She looks amazing. The camera's in there, Daniel. You're in trouble, bro. And you are completely stuck into that whole jutsu. Do we Done. really think Anesis on Earth for almost 2,000 years? Yeah. His I mean, how is it hard to believe, bro? You have to go to the gosh darn. I think you sense what I do. Half no, man, Hathor got to y'all. Big time. Agreed. This is bad, boys and girls. I can already tell. I just, damn, dude, she is fire, though. How are they not seeing this? And calling it for what it is. Like, I'd be like, what the fuck? Right? Like, how are they not seeing this shit and going, what the fuck? Feed them. I will serve no go out. Mm hmm. Is that gonna work on him though? He has a. Welcome. Good thing she's actually General, catching sir, all this I have shit. A problem with this. Hathor. This is Captain Carl. You're under her Genjutsu now. For those who don't watch anime, it's, you're under the spell. That's the way to put it. Carter, not Colonel O'Neill. Is that understood? But, sir, wow. Understood. 
just like that, right? Respect. It seems that this woman has all you guys under some sort of spell or something. You can trust us, Colonel. Well, that's not in question, man. Oh, man. Here we go. Dr. Jackson. Please remain. We have other questions. No, oh, jeez. I wonder what kind of questions you have. I've been asking a fuck ton of them, man. These guys are under your jutsu. Spell. Jutsu. Again, I watch a lot of anime. I mean, it'll be hard for me to say no. For real. Die for us. Die. Yes. Under the spell. The spell's been under that. Under it, under it, under it, under it. Enemy's enemy is my friend. Yes, sir. But even when the CIA grants sanctuary to an enemy turncoat, they never trust him. They watch him like a hawk. Mm -hmm. Daniel's watching her right now. Oh yeah, he's definitely watching her. Carter, be on your fucking p's and q's, fam. From whence the children come? Mm -mm. Are you saying that they come from you? Yes, and others like us. You're like a queen bee. You create the ghouls. What the fuck? It would be very smart of them to, you know, hold her down. And, you know, I feel like to imprison her, you know, instead of letting her free be wheely-neely, you know, it's kind of scary, to be honest, you know? There's Ishtar of Babylon, uh, Starday of Syria, That's Ceres of Rome. She's Sounds basically like the same around. person. Yeah. We probably don't even have days before this global does whatever it is she's trying to do. She's already doing it. Suggest, Captain. I mean, you need DNA to prevent rejection. The code of life. Wow, it's pretty neat. We do so enjoy the method of procuring the code in your species. Oh, jeez. I told you, it's that code. Damn, it's under that spell, man. There's not much you can do. Ugh. The men on this base are under Hathor's control, from what I can tell. I hate to break it to you, Teal, but you are male. I am what Jafar. The gold I carry within me protects me from Hathor's powers. I knew it. it I had a feeling. We may stop her. I cannot permit this to happen. Hell yeah, dude. Captain Carter, we cannot permit Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. This is a good episode. Control before they can think about it. Oh, no, they're like in a world filled mill. Yeah, true. Where is she, Daniel? Captain, we found her. She was spotted going into the locker room. Right, Get her, go. dude. Daniel. Daniel and okay? he ain't okay. Definitely not okay. Mama. I love you, I know, I know, but, but you're, you're gonna be annoying now. Teal can like straight up military fucking combat, dude. You got a doctor, it's, this, is, this is nice. Showing in the jacuzzi. Creating more ghouls. Oh, that, well, they, maybe we'll have a ghoul now. Oh, it's done, wow. She has the whole fucking base under her control at this point. Is this any way to treat a guest, Captain? Oh man, complete control. Um, Libidinous? No, never. Yeah. But here we are. I suppose they do train us to take advantage of the enemy's weakness. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You gotta do it. So we can bring you up on charges. Oh my gosh. What charges? Helping the human race? Like, for real. Wow. Now they got a bunch of ghouls they can, you know, whatever. At that moment, you will begin your service to us. Oh, wow. Enjoy. This is, a. Uh... Yeah, I didn't expect this. Her to be, him to be a Jaffa? Like, is this permanent? Man, he's been taken, ransacked, and 
Yeah, man, it's terrible, bro. I really damn near feel bad for the man. For real, look at him, bro. He don't look like he's, he's his, his normal self. So he's gonna be a permanent Gwauld person holder shit? Smart. So is that gonna be like a thing now that they can use to help th people out? I mean, shit. That's like a cheat code. Put them in there, they, they feel better, you know? So hopefully he does a good one right now, man. Very, very needed it, for real. Need it, for real. Yeah, they're shooting at each other. Oh, and she got hit. Hopefully she's wearing a bulletproof. Oh. Okay, ouch. Hope O'Neal is back instead of like. What's going on? Oh, he's back. He's back. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, no, oh, they destroyed that thing, nah. I don't think this is good. That sucks. One time use, right? Damn, she destroyed that bitch. He back to normal. Wow. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. Nah, we need all hands on deck, in my opinion. Carter does deserve to be punished, my queen, but she does not know what she is doing. Man, it's like they have their will, but they don't have their own will. You know, it's like a weird. It's it's a it's a thing. Yeah, fuck that. Shoot that bitch dead, bro. They could have definitely used some of those ghoul larvae. She escaped. I just saw her walk out. Right? Yeah, she walked out. Yeah, you need to send like a whole woman squad. What's going on? I must have blacked out. Maybe she needs to stay in proximity. Yeah, man. You guys. I'm putting you and Dr. Frazier up for a commendation. Well, thank Hell you, yeah. sir, but I can't explain. Hell yeah. We could have put this entire planet at risk. General Hammond's a shit. Hammond is like the dope, dopest, dopest dude, for real, I love him. Good shit, Hammond. Hell yeah, good stuff. Isn't that great job? You ladies killed it, in my opinion, I'm saying. Good episode, liked it, liked it a lot. I'm sure there's gonna be a continuation of it too. Mama, you've been here the whole time. Usually I don't let her allow her in here because she just gets really, really antsy, but she's been sitting down here the whole time just chilling, being a good little girly. But hey, man, another good episode, man. I really enjoyed this one a lot. Um, definitely fleshed out more of like the Gwawuls and how they're being created. You know, they have a queen bee. She was a queen bee and she, I guess what we saw with uh, O'Neal was her making a Jaffa, not actually procreating. I'm guessing she procreated with Daniel and uh, left him a little bit, you know, frazzled after that procreation. I can only imagine that, you know what I mean? She is like a goddess of sex, love and whatnot. I also love how they introduced her. I mean, they, they basically tied in the fact that like, there are other versions of her out there. Cause like, you know, if you look at like religion and religion in general, I feel like you can literally see similarities of all different, like it's, it's all, con I mean, it's all, how do I say this? Like, you know, different cultures and different areas of the world almost have the same similarities with their goddesses. Like Aphrodite and Hathor and Ishtar, similarities are pretty much on the nose a little bit. I'm sure there's a couple of things here and there that are a little bit different, but like they were able to tie all that in together and be like, yo, she been doing this for a while. She did this with Raw. Like, I just love how they are able to tie in like actual pieces of history together and make it easy for us to kind of like, you know, take in more than anything, like to understand. They do a great job. I, I, that's why I'm like so into this show. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm not lying. This is peak sci-fi and the sci-fi is very, very well done in my opinion. Um, you know, I feel like this show has a following because of how good, I mean, it wouldn't be on this long if it wasn't this damn good, but it is really good. And they do a, an, a, an amazing job of just taking all these real world elements and making something out of it for us to be like, okay, that's cool, I like it. Um, I'm sure we're gonna see more of Hathor. 
I mean, she escaped and went to Chulak. I, I mean, I'm sure she's going to meet up with Apophis and the rest of the Gua'ul and keep doing the Gua'ul things of, uh, you know, procreating and making more Gua'uls out there. Uh, it does suck, though, that we lost that uh, that Gua'uld machine, because I'm sure that was like a miracle. Or, like, it would have been awesome to have the thing around, but, you know, one hit wonder, you know, I like that. And, you know, at, at least it saved O'Neill, you know, if O'Neill came back because of it. Um, they don't have a Gua'uld specimen to check out now. Langley could have gotten that, but now that did not work out instead. And, uh, yeah, man, it was, uh, it, you know, I'm sure when they go after her again, they're probably going to send like an all-women team. I think I've talked about this before. I feel like they've probably changed around a lot of protocol of how they deal with things because of all the mistakes I feel like that's happening in season one from like disease uh, to being mind controlled now. Um, just all of it, you know, I'm sure it's, you know, or what to eat on the other side as well too. You know, it's, uh, they do a really, I feel like they're gonna figure out what to do, what not to do later on down the line as we go through all the seasons. But the season was great. I mean, this episode was great. I feel like I'm like uh, like six, seven episodes away from the season finale of season one, which is very, in, it's gonna be very interesting to get through and get along, you know, to be done with it. Uh, and then continue on, man. It's like I said, it's been, I've had such a fun time with the show so far. And uh, I'm really enjoying all of the comments I get from you guys. Um, I know this is like one of my least viewed of all the videos that I do put out. And, but I will say that the comment and the feedback is what's really important to me. And I really do appreciate you guys help me understand the Gua'uld, like kind of like, you know, just, I don't know, like watching the show with me. It's like, it's like you guys are, you know, really uh, trying to help me understand and, and get to know the show a lot better. I really enjoy the community that this show has. Uh, and uh, I'm hoping to meet more of y'all, man. You know what I mean? Get the word out. There's a guy that's watching Stargate SG-1 reactions. He's pretty dope. That would be awesome of you guys. You know what I mean? You know, the more, uh, you know, the more views, the more help. It, it really does help out the whole situation of me continuing being on YouTube and making this a whole career, if someone could put it, you know. But hey, thank you all for watching me. I appreciate you. You know, like I always say, take care of yourself and your family. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yo, thank you, YouTube, for watching this episode of Stargate SG-1 with me. It means a blast back here. A big shout-out to James Torley, our God-level patron. And a big shout-out to you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.